got our rods out, we've got our gear in the water with two different rigs and uh, there's two ways of fishing uh, basically for snapper like in the channels where I fish all the time in the Motohi Rangitoto channel and this applies anywhere around the country where you've got current you can either drift or you can anchor and not, not many people drift and more should because I tell you what it's a very effective way of fishing because you're covering a lot of ground and the rigs you use are usually ledger rigs with a fairly heavy sinker and uh, because the boat's moving the sinker can, can lift up off the bottom that killer ledger rig is ideal for it so you you drop it down, feel the bottom when you're drifting, and then after you've been drifting for a little while, let out a bit more line, because that'll make sure it's on the bottom. Secondly, as I say, fairly heavy sinkers. Thirdly, use fresh baits rather than pilly and squid, because they'll just come off so easily you'll spend most of your time drifting around with bare hooks. Fresh bait, and uh, you can't do it if the wind and tide are too strong, you know, you move too fast. But you can, you put a sea anchor out, get a drogue or sea anchor, tie that to the front of the boat, that'll slow you down. But try drifting, it's well worth it. Today, we're anchored. And we've been here all day filming, and we're just at the edge of the ring of Rakino Channel. But the important thing when you anchor is burley. I've got the old top catch burley here, and I took it out very early this morning out of the freezer before we came out, and so it's thawed out and it's ready, it's nice and soft. So I'm going to put it in the old burley pot down here, the wobbly pot, drop it, and I've got that in a bucket so that I don't put a, a mess all over the boat, Jeffrey. And then we just slice the, the plastic bag uh, two or three places. You quite often you'll get them in sort of mesh bags. There we go, that'll come out real good. If you're in a mesh bag, I, I stick a couple extra holes in it. Okay, what I'm going to do is put the burley over the upcurrent side. Now the tide's turned since we've been here all day, and the tide's running this way. It's running down this way. So I'm going to go on the upcurrent side of the boat, drop the burley there, tie it halfway up the boat. We don't put it down at the back where our rods are, or the burly line will go back and you'll tangle up your line. So far up the front of the boat as you can. Some people tie it onto the anchor, you could do that if you like. So I'll drop it down, hit the bottom, lift it up a bit, about half a metre off the bottom, so the current takes the burly down, then I'll tie it up the front there. So we'll go and get it going. Okay. Over the side. Right, she's on the bottom, tie it there. Right, even though we've tied it up the front of the boat, I'm, I've got an extra knot down here, just as added security in case my knot came undone up there and I lost the whole lot. So that's just a safety one. Now the burley's there, got the burley going, and uh, keep the burley going. You can't have too much burley. Snapper love burley. Just keep it going, keep it going. You always take lots of burley out every time you go fishing. Now we'll wait for the fish.